Today we're out at the So Much Fun Studios that is dedicated to finding things between fashion and craft when it comes to, you know, sewing and crafting and picking up new skills. So if you're at home and you want to try something new, you've been thinking about, you know, getting your hands dirty a little bit, come with me. Let's see exactly what is going down today. Owner and founder of the So Much Fun Studios, of course, is sitting alongside me, Liesl. And I want to ask you, what was the, be the reason rather behind you opening the So Much Fun Studio? And what was your wishes for the people that came through to the studio? Well, to be honest, I was at a almost crossroads in my life. And I, I took a hard look at what do I want to do with the rest of my life? And um, I thought of all this stuff that makes me happy. And one of the things that's been present in my life for the longest time since age of 10 has been sewing. And the other thing I realized was that I really like working with people and I like helping people. So combining those two things, uh, it, it seemed a very logical conclusion for me to start a studio where I could help people to learn the wonderful skill of sewing. And it's a, it's a fantastic skill because you can learn for the rest of your life. You know, you never get bored because there's always something new that you can learn. So the reason why I started it was I saw a gap in the market. There was a lot of formal education and I had gone through both the process of teaching myself and then later formal education. And I thought there must be a nicer, more fun way to acquire a skill that's quite technical in nature, can be quite overwhelming. Um, and I thought, why not make a studio where people combine a little bit of socializing with upskilling? So, hence the name, the So Much Fun Studio. Linda, please introduce yourself to the people as well as how long you've been part of the So Much Fun Studios. Um, I first of all heard about the studio from a friend of mine who is a real expert at sewing. And I knew absolutely nothing. Like, really nothing. Mm -hmm. And she just said to me, she's done her research, and she found that this is just the most fun place to be at. And I joined the first course, I think last year, about September, mm -hmm. and I used to come once a week. Um, and mm -hmm. then we had a Christmas break, and I've done my second course now. So going back to when you just began and to where you are right now, how would you say that your creativity and the way that you design and sew today has transformed and improved? I think the biggest change is not necessarily on what I can create. The biggest change in just how much fun it is. Mm -hmm. And I think the big thing for anybody trying to sew is just to explore that creativity that we all have. Yes. Um, so it's really, it's wonderful. I think the sense of being able to, even if one can just make a napkin mm -hmm. um, or sew anything as simple as possible, but at least it's a start. It's fabulous. I've always wanted to learn how to sew because my mom was a seamstress and she passed away a few years ago. So I was like, this would be a cool way to make my own stuff. The main reason actually was because I'm very small. <laughs> so shopping is really annoying because like stuff are either too long or too. So my mom used to alter my clothes and then obviously she left with that skill. So I was like, if I start doing it myself, but even better if I can make my own clothes, just whatever comes from my head onto my body and then when I went home for the holidays I found this super dusty and I came back and I brought it here and it's fixed now so yeah I've had three lessons so far we've done very basic stuff how to use the machine um, how to do st different types of stitching we've learned about French stitching a lot that I don't remember right now and um, at the last time we made a pillowcase and today we made a moon bag so I think um, the next session is a sew along so I'm probably gonna make a skirt or a dress and that's four hours of me just sewing and she helps you with whatever you need so yeah I've been having a great time I'm probably gonna buy more lessons for sure <laughs> and what would you say is that one thing you know that keeps you coming back to the so much fun studio that keeps you wanting to push for more at the end I've got to say it's got nothing to do with sewing it's more to do with the people that you meet, very much so. 
Um, I think we all look forward to coming to the class because you tend to interact with people that you would normally never ever meet and yet you've got this one shared passion and that is really to learn something new and to be together and um, just feel, I think we're all creative beings, so um, just to explore that. Thank you so much. No. So for me it's much more important that people trust my studio as a place where when they do come and learn something they, they learn it in depth and they get a lot of info that will empower them. So I think in a nutshell you know, empowerment, make people feel confident to go and try something and learn and teach themselves even beyond what they learn here. The So Much Fun Studio is the perfect place to come through to find something new, to pick up a craft that you might have left behind along the way and to sew everything back together. Of course, it is right here at Garden. So if you at home and you want to find, try something new, you want to pick up something that you might have left behind, something that you've inherited, this is the perfect place to try it out. But right now, I'm signing out and I'll catch you on the flip side.